Hello beautiful people, I am Dimi and you are on Tech is my passion, the best and the most amazing channel on the YouTubes. In any case, we are back and that's a fact baby, uh, after a long time with uh, struggling with a lot of personal issues, still have some but uh, okay it is what it is, we have to move on. We are gonna up keep updating the channel as it was before a long time uh, but we are back and that's a fact, we are gonna jump into this video which has to do with the best launcher you can have on your Google TV or your Android TV uh, television or uh, TV box or TV stick or whatever it is, we are gonna make it rock. But what I mean by that? If you are using a Google TV or an Android TV device, whatever device it is, you will notice that we have on the main screen, we have an ad and not always ad because sometimes it is a recommendation it may be that Google decided that uh, specific moment to recommend to you the one service that you do not use, for example, a movie on Disney Plus or on Apple, T Apple TV Plus or on, uh, I don't know, Google Movies, if it's still a thing, I don't know, in any case, or on Netflix and so on. This, uh, other than being annoying, uh, this thing is also, it uh, consumes RAM and uh, it will make your device struggle a lot of times especially where we have the autoplay that it's playing the content of that specific video. Another thing that it was disgusting for me, it was that uh, this Christmas I had been bombarded with uh, an ad by Christian Dior, or the perform uh, Christian Dior and so on, which okay, one time it was, you can say, mm, okay, it can, uh, it will be just one time, but I had a whole week or I don't remember a month being bombarded with this ad without stop, uh, any stop. Uh, it was uh, a nightmare, a nightmare. And of course my device suffered a lot. We are going to install a launcher that will bring the awesomeness of Google TV, Android TV, no sluggish performance anymore. And of course we are going to set it as default every time you turn on your device, you will have that launcher, which you can also customize at your wish. The app is also on the Google Play Store, there is also a premium version that you can buy it, but with the Zippo mode that I use, the one uh, that's free, I can guarantee you, you are set. Let's go and check it out. Of course, it's always nice to support the developer, especially if you're gonna use also the uh, added features. Let's go inside my device and uh, let's place my beautiful face on the bottom. This is the default home screen of Google TV, this time exactly it doesn't recommend anything, thankfully, but as you can see, because I haven't set it up yet, that's the truth, truth be told, but in the upcoming days, if not ours, it will be bombarded with a lot of uh, different recommendations. In any case, in order to change that, we're gonna go inside apps and we're gonna search for an app that is our launcher, that it's called Projectivity. Now I've noticed something because I did the video also on another channel before. I've noticed that if I'm gonna search for it with uh, the voice assistant, it will bring up just videos. If I'm gonna type the application, it will give me the application. Let's try it together. I'm gonna enter Projectivity Launcher is the name of the app. We can just enter Projectivity. P-R-O-J-E-C-T-I-V-I-T-Y I did the spelling for you and we're gonna look for it Boom shakalaka baby! The first result! Awesome! You may also try voice command but if you do not get it make sure to type it type it with the remote <laughs> Okay, let's select projectivity and now we're gonna hit install Awesome! Uh, brought to us by Spocky, which is a developer. I do not uh, personally know the guy, but uh, or the company. I don't know if it's a company. In any case, it's awesome. Uh, it was uh, originally created for projectors, but it is so awesome that, of course, a lot of other users like me and you perhaps use it as the default launcher on any Google TV device. Let's bring it up by selecting open, it will give you some uh, highlights how you can use it, of course 
for the purpose of this video I'm gonna skip them, you can of course read them uh, if I may and so on, okay, it will ask for permissions, uh, allow, of course, grant notifications in special permissions, yes, and uh, most importantly stay with me because we need to set it up as default, let's go back, and if you want to send anonymous usage and crash reporting, I'm gonna also select yes, since they are anonymous, you are free to do whatever you want, uh, most probably if you are, you can also select not to. Let's uh, get started, confetti, wow, wowzers, and boom shagalaga, oh, this is ugly, wait, wait, we're gonna fix it, but before fixing the layout, because as I said before, you can customize everything, let's go into settings, as you can see on the top we have a connection, Ethernet connection, or Wi-Fi in my occasion, if you have, of course, cable, Ethernet connection, always use that, no doubt about it, you will get a better streaming experience, the settings and the clock, and uh, the rest of it is as it is right now, but we can, as I've said, customize it a lot. Go into settings, and the first thing, of course, as I said, we are gonna make it default on most devices by going into under settings, projectivity launcher settings, and selecting general, and then over, uh, change default launcher, it will make it by selecting, of course, the projectivity launcher and selecting set as default, it will make it your uh, default launcher. In this device, for example, which is the Google TV Chromecast, uh, if I'm gonna select home, it will give me back <laughs> the lame uh, launcher that Google recommends. But we are gonna go inside settings, no, sorry, inside apps, we are gonna open the app from the apps drawer, here we are, Projectivity Launcher, once again inside Settings, once again inside Projectivity Launcher Settings, and we're gonna do two things, the first one inside this app, once again Change, uh, and Override Current uh, Launcher, okay, once you did that, we need to go back and back again, twice, that is, we're gonna go into, sorry, Android Settings, the general Android Settings, or if you are on the other screen, just select the cog, okay, and now we're gonna go to accessibility. Go all the way down till you find projectivity launcher, boom sagalaka, and simply enable it by selecting also OK. Now, if I'm gonna select the home button, boom sagalaka, the default launcher is this one. And of course, as I've mentioned, now it seems so lame if you have a TV or other HDMI in inputs and so on, you will have more stuff on the screen, but we can do my recommendation. Go inside the Projectivity Launcher, you have plenty of options to play with. Into Appearance, I'm gonna change the wallpaper to a dynamic color, because as a default it has, uh, you can change it from Reddit or you can uh, have a default wallpaper. I prefer dynamic colors, that means that when selecting an application that has a specific color, the background will be exactly the same. So, for example, by selecting YouTube, the dominant color is white or red. Red, it will be the background. Let me show it to you. So, um, better that way. Of course, unfortunately, with Apple TV Plus, uh, you only get that gray. Okay, background. On Disney Plus, we get this color, which I cannot uh, say what color exactly it is. Cyan, maybe. Cyan, I don't know. Netflix red, uh, Google Play Games uh, green, and so on. Google Play Store rainbow. <laughs> I don't know what color it is. In any case, let's go back into the settings, projectivity launcher settings, and also uh, under appearance, you can change whatever you want. Categories for channels, cards, uh, the status bars, left headers, launcher idle mode, uh, what is that? I don't remember to be exact. Ah, the opacity, okay, it can uh, keep the clock, it can make it when you leave it on uh, idle, it may be, uh, may get an opacity or it can uh, shut down the whole screen, whatever you want, especially useful for all OLED uh, screens. In any case, one thing I like to do is inside cards, I can change uh, the corners or uh, the size of, the, of each card, and of course you can also change the opacity, the vertical, how tall it is, or how fat it is every 
a row or card or icon let's say it like that and a lot a lot a lot a lot of other awesomeness of course the main benefit is that it is super blazing fast this is it guys if you want me to do a more extended video about the launcher i can do that as well but uh, in order to keep it as short as possible <laughs> I won't do that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to go bananas on the like button. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this. Just awesomeness and promise this time we are back for good. Our websites, Dimitrology.com, Dimitrology also on Reddit, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, all over the place. Uh, very social guy. And uh, we'll keep up, we'll catch up, to be exact, on the upcoming video. As always, guys. Thank you for watching!